Today, we're gonna be doing sort of a tiki drink. It's definitely tropical, it's definitely for summer, and it's definitely gonna require a lot of rum. So I'm actually using the Costco-sized Kirkland spiced rum today. Um, I think that this rum is really good, especially for the money. I, disclaimer though, I don't drink a lot of rum drinks. It's just not my thing. This drink though is definitely my thing. And with this particular rum, it, it's perfect for this. So go spend $70 on the Costco membership so you can get the $14 bottle of rum. Also in this drink is this cherry hearing. It's a cherry liqueur. This is actually made in Denmark. And it's uh, basically macerated cherries and brandy. Um, that sound, it's just, I love that sound. Mm. This is a really good cordial on its own if you like sweet. If you don't have this, you could use a maraschino liqueur, a Luxardo liqueur. You could even just take some juice from the Luxardo cherry jar that you bought because you're never gonna do hot pink cherries again, remember? If you do end up getting a bottle of this, this is also what you use in a Singapore sling and I think a variety of other tiki drinks. I don't know, I don't really follow recipes. I just know that this is delicious and I like it with these things. Pineapple juice is going to be what fills this drink out and makes it super tropical. And we're gonna add this ginger syrup that I've been using in a couple of different cocktails. Uh, if you don't know how to make simple syrup, I'm putting a link to that right here. Cup of sugar, cup of water, some ginger, bring it to a boil. There you go, super easy. And today for tools, I'm actually going to be using a cocktail shaker. I hate shaking cocktails. I don't know why, it's probably a sound thing, like loud noises kind of annoy me. Um, but this drink really needs to be shaken, not stirred. It's very Bond. Before doing that, let's just put our ingredients in here so you can see what we're doing and then we'll get to the awful shaker. This is, it's a lot of rum. Where did all the rum go? Into this drink. So we are actually going to do three ounces per drink of rum. Buckle up. We're gonna do a little bit under an ounce of the uh, cherry curing. This, um, it's a really strong cherry flavor. So I would say take it easy unless you love cherries. Go hog wild, I don't care. I'm gonna do a little bit under an ounce. Then we're gonna take our ginger simple. This would also be really good with a mint simple or just plain, but the ginger adds a complexity here that is so, so good. So we're gonna do, again, just under an ounce of this. Don't want it to be too sweet. Oh. <laughs> it smells like candy ginger, it's really good. Pineapple juice. We're actually gonna do two ounces of this. Make sure that's on there really tight unless you want cocktail all over your kitchen. Why don't we shaking? You want to shake this for a good, uh, I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, the reason we're doing this is we want to get the cocktail super, super cold and we want all of those ingredients to like really mix up and it actually gets a little bit frothy. You know, there are people who are really good at this. Like if you ever watch Steve the bartender, first of all, dude's got guns. And like, he's a professional bartender. I am not. The other thing I hate about these is they're a pain in the ass to get off. Oh. Garnish. We're just gonna take a little bit of fresh mint. We're just gonna kind of beat it up to let some of those oils loose. So the flavor on this is gonna be a little bit reminiscent of a painkiller. 
some sprinkled nutmeg on top would make it even more like a painkiller, really good. Uh, but the cherry hearing, the cherry liqueur really changes this. So I think we're gonna call this one a hearing aid. Cheers, friends. Oh. <laughs>